Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are back with our another video today before the end of the year. So we are continuing our Gen AI series as you know from last few videos that we are doing continuously. So today marks our last video before the year ends uh, in this same series as we are going along in 2025. So today's video topic is about agentic AI. So which is a kind of, uh, uh, I would say, the 2024 year was the starting of agenting AI or kind of kick-starting the uh, agentic AI things along in the entire technology framework as well. That's how I look at it. But maybe you people can research more about it. How what about agentic AI, whether it was more in 2024 or it was just kick-starting. So uh, without further uh, wait ado, we'll start this video. So in this video, what we're going to discuss about what is agentic AI, what it's going to do and what uh, what kind of applications it has built till now and what kind of use cases you can take agentic AI uh, help from, which normal uh, AI interactions may not help you and why agentic AI is more helpful in today's world. So let's go ahead one by one. So first of all, let's understand what is agentic AI. So um, Agentic AI is nothing but uh, it's kind of automating your, uh, that's how I look at it, automating your mundane tasks who are actually, which the task which you are doing on a daily basis. Let's say um, if you are doing some kind of uh, updations or some kind of data entry operations in your day-to-day -day activities. So let's say I do a data entry kind of tasks on a daily basis. So which are kind of mundane activities and Let's say you go to a browser, you open a website, you enter some data and all that, all those stuff, and all those things. And then you basically publish that data somewhere. So that's a kind of daily activity you are doing. Another thing, uh, let's say you are publishing some content. So you have some uh, blog or something. You are doing some research about a new topic. You are preparing some content and uh, what kind of content you have to write for your readers. So you research about it, you write about it. And then you basically go manually uh, in the uh, uh, in the publishing phase and you publish the article, you add the images, uh, required title, description, blah, blah, all those things. So that is another level of uh, mundane activity you are doing. Of course, not on the daily basis, but somewhere you are doing that on maybe weekly basis or maybe few days in the week or so. So it's another mundane activity you are doing. So where you are entering something, then you are creating something and then you are going ahead and publishing in some other platform. So agentic AI is basically uh, reducing the manual activities. That's how I look at it. So all those things where you have to integrate with multiple AI systems, make a decisions and then uh, perform some action. So let's say I have to create a content. So I need a topic. So first of all, I will get the topic. I'll find some content about it. I'll research about the content. Then I'll start writing my own thoughts. After creating the content, I'll basically try and publish it. So I have number of tasks in that in this entire workflow. First is I have to research about a topic. I have to research about content. Then I have to write about that content in my own words. And then I have to publish it. Maybe add multiple flavors in the publishing like creating a task, uh, creating a title, description, all those things. This is the content creation. Now look, let's look at another example for making more clear for our audience who is coming from different backgrounds. Let's say I am a uh, developer. So I write the code. I basically create the code. Um, I write the code, I test it, I build it, and I then I push it on some of the live websites. So I do multiple kind of activities in the code uh, workflow. Okay, so all these things I do on a daily basis. Writing the code is one thing. Researching about the code or thinking about how better to write it, that is another thing. Then uh, how to build it, then deploy it. All those are regular activities that I'm doing. All those are monotonous activities, I would call it. Now, in all these activities or all, in all these examples what I've shared is, there are multiple tasks involved. So each of the tasks is linked with the previous one and there is some kind of decision making activity that is being done on one of the, at each level. 
So like in the last example, we talked about in the code workflow example, you write a code, then you build it, then you uh, push it on, test it, and then you just push it on some of the live servers. So this is what you do in the in a code workflow examples. Now, in the similar case, uh, so basically, let's say I have to create a tool which should do all these things automatically. Okay, so there should be a tool which uh, which should be triggered, let's say, in the background, or let's say I trigger it with some event. Let's say I trigger it with an event like write a code. Okay, write and test a code, for example. So I'll write an event called write and test code. So with this event, what will happen is, so it will trigger an agentic workflow. Agentic workflow is nothing but the series of steps that it has to do. Now those series of steps will be integrated with multiple set of tools. Now, multiple set of tools when you call, like first tool will help you to write the code. Second tool will help you, look, sorry. First tool will help you to research about the code. Second tool will help you to write the code. Third tool will help you to understand, build the code. So now all these aspects, if you see, uh, researching about the code, where AI can help you. You can research, give your context, and AI can help you as we are talking about the, in the Gen AI series. Then writing the code. That's where also AI can help you in writing the code when you give the better context to it. So these are two tasks. Now the third task, where you have to build the code, maybe test the code as well in your local system whenever you have built it or when you want, you want to before pushing onto the live server you want to test it in your local for this ai may not be able to help you because ais can give you answer based on your questions okay so this is where you will integrate some of the with your external tools which can be let's say uh, if you talk about anthropic so anthropic had released a computer uh, use activity where the AI model can use your computer and take your instructions and basically go inside your computer and do the relevant steps. So that is what is the third step. You have some tools in your local, uh, like some app servers or something, which basically helps you in building and deploying your code in local. Now in the third step, in this step, which I'm talking about, here the Anthropic AI will go into your local system and see which applications you have installed. And those applications can help you uh, basically deploying the code in local and testing it out as well on its own. Okay. So this is the third step. So now I'll write down the steps actually. First is researching where AI is helping you. Then the second step is writing the code. That is also where AI is helping you. Now let me just extend it more. Now the third step is where you want to, you need some app server or some, let's say build tool first. Then you need app server to deploy and test. Okay. Then you need some, uh, let's say, uh, integration with external VCS system to push your code in some repo or something. Let's say, uh, VCS integration or let's say GitHub integration to push your code. Now all these things, all these things will happen when I do a trigger of write and test. Okay. So I'll have a trigger in my, let's say system, uh, let's say in my local system or let's say in cloud or somewhere, wherever it is. It can be local. It can be in somewhere in my um, hosted services, it can be in my live server also. So this event can be anywhere, it can be listened anywhere as well. So when this event will run, all these steps will execute one by one on its own automatically without any human intervention. So which means researching, writing the code, building, testing and publishing into the GitHub all will done be without any malware intervention. This is going to be the future. This is not the present. Of course, we are going towards that side where in maybe maybe in 2025 or maybe in 2026 or maybe in corresponding years, you will see such tools that will automatically do these things for you. Now, in these all these steps, what is happening? You are giving just one instruction and based on that instruction, it is basically triggering each of those steps one by one 
based on the general prompt that you give to an LLM model or that, to, that you give to any AI model. So that is what is happening inside the agentic AI tool. So that is what I wanted to actually uh, discuss about in this entire activity. I think uh, I have extended my video content in this uh, video. So I'll actually make another video to explain more about agentic AI in detail. So I hope you get a fair amount of idea what is agentic AI for beginners. So that's what out it is and that's how it works and that's where some of the applications are going to be used as well so for the topics that i was explaining in the start so that i'll extend in the further videos as well thanks a lot for watching the video do like share and subscribe to the channel if you like the video share it to your near and dear ones as well thank you bye